Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Chade Rain, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Honestly, I didn't know that there was this many things going on when it came to Power Rangers theories, but it turns out, just like any long-running show, Power Rangers has some ravenous fans, and they come up with a ton of plot ideas that might actually be true. Some of these are so detailed, it actually makes more sense than the scripted show. And there are so many of them that I am bringing you today's list of Top 10 Scary Power Rangers theories part three. If you have not watched part one or two, then go check those out right now. I'm probably going to reference them a couple of times. There is so much good content in them as well. Also, stick around until the end of the list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shoutouts, which you guys all love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the Morphing Grid is alive. Now, what is the Morphing Grid? Well, it is the all-powerful source that has gifted every ranger with their powers to throw down and keep the forces of evil at bay. Now, who dispenses the powers? Many people believe it to be Zordon having some control over the Morphing Grid, but there are some other people who say otherwise. The Morphing Grid has given Rangers powers and taken them away at times when it seems super inconvenient, but in the end, it turns out it was all actually a test to make them even stronger than they were before. This is out of Zordon's control, and it would seem that the Morphing Grid is doing Doing this all on its own. In the Power Rangers movie, Zordon states that the intention of the Morphing Grid is to find a balance between good and evil. Well, maybe it isn't so much of a metaphor, but reality. The Morphing Grid is alive and it seeks to have the scales evened out in the universe so everything can operate as it should. At number 9, we have the Dino Gems are a dark energy. Although we think we know where the Dino Gems come from, the fans have their own theories about their origins. There's more than than just one dino-centric period in the Power Rangers universe. There's Dino Charge and Dino Thunder. Now at the start of Dino Charge, there's an extinction level asteroid that comes in and wipes out the dinosaurs. Now some people think the inner gems fused with the dinosaurs at this moment to make the Dino Gems for Dino Thunder. But because the asteroid was a force of destruction, it infected the Dino Gems with a dark energy that now lays dormant inside the Morphing Grid, basically waiting for the right moment to make a league of evil rangers to take over the Earth and maybe even in the universe. At number eight, we have Pat and Elsa were almost the same person. If you're a fan of the show, then you probably know about Tommy's wife, Kat, as well as one of the evil henchmen, Elsa. Well, there has been some evidence dug up by fans that suggest they were supposed to be the same person. At a certain point in Dino Thunder, Elsa is freed from her brainwashed state, and it was revealed that she is, well, she was nobody. She was just some random person that no one has ever seen before, and it seems like kind of a strange choice. Well, a lot of fans speculate that it was originally supposed to be a brainwashed cat who was working against the rangers this whole time. This would have been insane. You're leading the rangers and then you find out that your wife has been behind enemy lines this whole time. Word on the street says the reason they didn't do this is because the actress who played cat got pregnant right before they were supposed to start shooting. At number seven, we have Danger Breeds New Powers. This is something that has popped up in a lot of shows. There was an episode of Pokemon where a Bulbasaur in instantly learns Dig to avoid getting crushed by a boulder. Well, in the Power Rangers movie that came out in 2017, there was a moment where the Rangers are in a van that is hit by a train and they don't die. Instead, they wake up at home like it was all some sort of bad dream. The explanation for this is that the Rangers have the power to teleport, which is true. They teleport to see Zordon before they go out to save the world. Now, at this point in the movie, none of the Rangers have a complete grasp of their powers, and I'm sure teleportation is not an easy one. So the theory is that the only reason they were able to perfect this ability so quickly is because they literally almost died. It just sucks to know they might have to have a near-death experience every time they want to level up. At number six, we have the Rangers are descendants of aliens. Something very cool about the Power Rangers is that they explore life on other planets. Something not so cool about the Power Rangers is that life usually just looks the same as us. I would assume this is to save on makeup and costume costs, but there is a theory that all these Rangers are descendants from the same planet, a planet that would breed Power Rangers, then send them to different places in the universe so they could keep everyone safe. That would be pretty crazy to find out that your great-great-great-grandfather was not only one 
one of the original rangers, but also from another solar system. And number five, we have Ivan Ooze Lives. I love Ivan Ooze. Not only does he have one of the best names in the Power Rangers universe, but he is the big baddie in my favorite Power Rangers movie, the one that I watched constantly when I was a kid. But something that is very strange about that Power Rangers movie is that with all the craziness that goes down, it never works its way into the main show. They never ever talk about it. No one's like, hey, remember that time we had to get new powers and this purple dude no one ever saw before almost destroyed the planet, but then we won and then the Black Ranger had a frog zoid? You think it would get brought up a couple of times. Some fans believe that this whole movie took place in a different timeline or a different dimension and nothing that happened in the movie actually affected the main Power Rangers canon. So this could mean that Ivan Ooze is still laying dormant and waiting to be unlocked and attacked. And at number four, we have Casey is dead. Having old Rangers come back is amazing. It's such a nostalgia boost. It's like having Goku and Vegeta team up. I love it. The fans love it and everyone goes home happy. In Super Mega Force, this happens a lot, but something strange happens with the former Red Ranger Casey. He never morphs into his Power Rangers form. He stays as his normal self and only trains the Rangers. Also, at a certain point, when he's done training the Rangers, he just disappears. Some people speculate that he was actually dead this whole time and it was his life force coming from the morphing grid to train the Rangers. This is kind of like a force ghost sort of scenario. Like, it's like, you know, you guys get force ghosts. I don't need to explain that. Number three, we have Emily the Yellow Ranger is evil. In Power Ranger Samurai, we have Emily who seems to be a great choice for a Ranger. She's strong, she kicks a lot of butt, and she is always on time. But if you remember, she only became the Yellow Ranger because her sister couldn't take the job. Her sister mysteriously got saved, which seems very convenient for Emily. Because of this, some fans speculate that she actually poisoned her sister. She didn't want to kill her because that would draw too much attention. So instead, she just made it so she was too weak to become a Ranger so she could take her place. This is because Emily is a power hungry psycho who wants nothing more than to take over the world. She's going to work her way to the top of the Power Rangers and then rule with an iron fist, or so people think. I don't know. And number two, we have timeline buildup. If you check out one of the earlier parts of the series, you will remember when we talked about how Time Force might have the ability to create alternate timelines to keep their timeline safe. They basically dump bad stuff into a different timeline like it's garbage. So that would mean that every other timeline that is created, something terrible happens. Say Lord Zed won, or Rita became the most powerful thing in the universe, or the Morphing Grid was corrupted and then used for a force of evil. If the Time Force Rangers were making all these timelines, then the catastrophes from these other timelines might be able to work their way back to the original one. If they all did this together, there would be who knows how many super powerful enemies coming in at the same time to kill the Rangers, and I don't know if they would be able to win that battle. And for the number one spot, we have Lord Zordon was Ernie. Wait, what? Let me explain this from the top. Ernie was the guy who owned the juice bar the Rangers would hang out at all the time. More than that, they met Tommy there as well as several other Rangers, and there would be a ton of events that the Rangers would go to at this juice bar. So it would make sense that Zordon would use some of his powers to make a human form so he could keep an eye on the Rangers and make sure that they're all doing okay. If you still don't believe me, then when Zordon leaves in Turbo, Ernie also leaves and goes overseas. And if you still don't believe me, this was an actual idea that the producers of the show were going to push forward because it's an amazing twist, but they didn't end up going forward with it. But maybe they still will. All right, everyone, that has been our list. And as promised, I'm gonna be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. I usually pick two message most recently. So if you just message constantly, that's probably your best chance to get in. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry. I have a lot of these to do and without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First off, we have Magic who is enjoying that big bag of chips more than anything else. I for sure know that. After that, we have Money Penny the Rabbit. If I'm not mistaken, that is a James Bond reference. That is a great choice for a bunny name. Anything like bunnies are great. James Bond's great. 
put them together. Then we have this amazing close up of this beautiful doggo with the sun behind her. The lighting is perfect. There's a little bit of glare, but just enough to make it look artistic. This dog looks like it should be a supermodel. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Jay Dorena, and keep watching more Power Rangers stuff. Take it easy, guys. Bye.